friends welcome to my channel I'm Arpita Karva and in this video I'm going to present in front of you a simple strategy that you can use in order to complete and finish your syllabus in the time that you have in hand as the UGC net examination May 2021 has been postponed because of the COVID-19 second wave pandemic. I know that situation around us is not so great. People are tired and frustrated because of the pandemic. People are dying. If you look at the news channel, all they are flashing throughout the day is news about how the entire country is going through this pandemic and we don't know when this is going to end. I know that the situation is really tense and it is really hard for you to focus on your career right now. But guys, Please believe me, this COVID-19 pandemic has come as an opportunity in disguise for students who are still struggling to complete their syllabus for UGC net examination. All the major exams of the country, be it 10th or 12th board exams, UPSC or examination conducted by NTA like JEE, NEET, UGC net, all these exams have been postponed for an indefinite period because of the COVID-19 pandemic. And if you are sitting at home and you are not tied up in any emergency situation, this is the right time when you can sit down with your books and start preparing for the upcoming exam. In this video, I'm going to give you a short, short technique using which you can utilize this time and complete your syllabus. At the same time, I have also made a video last year talking about how you can overcome the anxiety that a lot of people are going through because of the pandemic. I am putting the link of the same video in the description box below. So if you are really tensed and anxious about how to get out of the depression that is spreading all across India because of the pandemic, please watch this video. And after watching this video, please go and check out the other video, the link of which I've put in the description. I'm pretty sure that video is going to help you to carry a ray of hope for the rest of the year. The very first tip that I would like to give to all of you is that please don't break the momentum. I know that a lot of students were studying really hard right before the exams got postponed. And now slowly and gradually they are becoming lazy or I should say they are becoming more lazy day by day because they don't know when the exams would be conducted next because exams are cancelled or postponed you can say for an indefinite period and at the same time you have no clue when the next notification of UGC is going to come out. So this is the time when you tend to get lazy. But remember, whenever you are wasting time, somewhere someone is getting better than you. It is a competitive exam. You need to be better than the rest of the population to clear it. So always remember that you have to find a fine balance between entertainment and studies. This is not the time when I would tell all of you to just leave everything aside and sit on a desk and study for 14 or 15 hours. That's not possible. There is so much negativity spreading across India that we need time to get refreshed, to get recharged, to get positive. So you have to make and find a balance where you have to study for some period every day and at the same time you give time to heal yourself, to love yourself for self-care. So you have to start using a technique called time blocking. What happens in time blocking? You block the slot when you would be studying. So for example, you are awake for like 14 or 15 hours in a day. So out of those 15 hours, you block to one one hour slot for studies. So maybe you can block like four slots for studies and you can study in those slots and rest of the day you can do your routine task, you can entertain yourself, you can do things to pamper yourself, you can do things in order to uh, make your self-esteem go high or indulge in any fun activity but then the blocked slots are the slots when you have to study so don't just leave studies and just think about the fact that okay when the notification would come i would 
study again no that would not help use this period to gradually build the momentum and gradually complete the uh, portions of the syllabus that you left last time before i introduce you to my master strategy i would also like you to remember a small thing use this covid 19 period as an opportunity because this is actually an opportunity in disguise this is a time when you don't need to travel you don't need to go to college you don't need to go to your office you don't need to do other stuff that you were usually doing so you have a lot of time free in your hand and you can use this time in order to complete the portions of syllabus that you have never touched so for example if you look at ugc net english literature syllabus it is really vast when students go to my website and look at the modules they are at times overwhelmed they are like we would never be able to finish the syllabus we have to go to college or there are people who are working so they have to work so they all feel as if they would never be able to finish it. This is a time when you're getting break from all those things. So now you can go to my website, you can check out the modules and you can start preparing. That would help you to become closer to your goal. At the same time, if you are somebody who is not feeling motivated enough, why not start studying or for 20 minutes every day in two or three days span you would definitely feel that there's a urge to study more and then gradually you can increase the study hours don't take a target that i would study for 10 hours today that would not help you because if you have been lazing around so far suddenly one day if you tell yourself to study 10 hours your brain is going to tell you to shut up and uh, sleep again so we have to trick our brain a little bit we have to tell the brain that let's just study for 20 minutes today and let's see where it goes gradually you will feel motivated and when you would learn something new that thirst for knowledge is going to grow even more so utilize this period as an opportunity so finally I'm here with the technique that I promised in the beginning of the video I'm going to give you so that you can overcome procrastination and you can use this time to prepare for the upcoming net exam. So I mentioned in one of the previous videos I posted last month that I was struggling with procrastination myself and I was also becoming a bit lazy when it comes to work and I hired an accountability partner. Along with accountability partner, I also started using work logs. Now this work logs is something that you can use in order to um, ensure that you study on a regular basis. So what happens in a uh, work log is that you have to write down the time when you sit down to work and you have to write down the tasks that you are doing. Let me simplify it even further. So step number one is that you get up every day in the morning and jot down the goals that you want to accomplish that day. For example, you want to uh, learn one chapter of particular subject, right? So that is your goal. Now what you do next is that you break it down into smaller portions, portions that are very easy to accomplish. So for example, your goal is to complete one chapter. That chapter comprises of, let's say 20 pages. So your tasks for the day would be to complete two pages per chunk. So you have 10 chunks in a day and in every chunk you just have to learn two pages. That's it. Now looking at the entire chapter, you might feel like procrastinating. You might feel that, okay, I don't feel like working today. Let me do it tomorrow. You would feel like, you know, uh, just going away from work, just finding other activities to keep yourself involved. Now, when you break down the bigger goal into smaller portions, you actually find these portions bite-sized. You find as if you can tackle it in one single go. 15 minutes, me, you can complete two pages and you'll be done with one task for the day and that is going to give you feeling of motivation as well 
so the second step is to break down the goal of the day into smaller portions now the third task would be to start with the first portion and when you begin your work you maintain a work log or a study log you can say i have given a sample of this work log that i have prepared for myself in the description below you can download it and take a print out and use it on a day to day basis so now when you start studying in the first slot you write down the time when you would start your studies and then you are going to complete the two pages and and then write the end time and the total duration in which you studied once you're done with that chunk then you can take a break if you want and after some time you can come back again and do the second uh, task and that is how you divide your day into chunks you divide your tasks into chunks and you complete a bigger goal by completing smaller portions and by the end of the day i have this uh, tendency to write down how many total hours did i work and also i write a remark for myself if i thought that i did excellent today i was able to accomplish all the goals i write excellent keep it up arpita if i think that i was lagging behind i tell myself that okay you did well but you could do better so just like our principals in class teachers used to give us remarks give yourself a remark it is going to give you a very nice feeling and on top of that also by the end of the day write what did you accomplish in a day keep a copy of these uh, you know work logs with yourself and scroll through them whenever you get time when you scroll through these pages you will actually uh, get to know that you are becoming better so if yesterday you studied for like half an hour today you would feel as if let me outperform myself by studying for 45 minutes and gradually you will see that you will start liking the process of studies and you will find yourself motivated enough to work towards your goal this work log technique has helped me a lot to overcome procrastination and to accomplish bigger goals because when you look at these bigger goals you are afraid you don't feel like starting at the first place but when you break it down into smaller steps and you look at the steps in isolation you feel as if they are easy to accomplish it is just going to take me 15 minutes to complete one task let me do it and by the end of the day you would see that you have actually completed the entire goal which in the beginning might have felt as if you would never do it in the first place so that's the strategy which i call as deep work some other people call day division strategy you can use it and you can modify it as per your convenience and let me know in the comment section below if you find this video helpful if you have any other questions in mind feel free to put that in the comment section below we are running online courses for ugc net paper 1 and paper 2 if you want to join us please give us a call on the number displayed there you can even whatsapp us on the same number we will love to get in touch with you so with that note i come to an end of this video i'll meet you very soon in the next video lecture till the time i meet next happy learning keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpitakarwa.com